Hello ladies and gentlemen, Adam Corey here once again with another programming tutorial for you. After we did the first drag and drop tutorial, many of you expressed that you would like to learn more on that topic. So in this programming exercise, you can gain insight into building file upload applications with popular drag and drop features like YouTube, Facebook, and other highly successful websites offer along with the regular file upload mechanisms. It's very easy to do with the new HTML5 drag and drop features using JavaScript. And it's all vanilla JavaScript and PHP code, so you don't need to use any third party frameworks or any bulky libraries. And I also get to introduce you to David Corey, our brand new bouncing baby boy. Now it's pretty simple to integrate this functionality directly into your existing file upload forms where you might offer a progress bar using Ajax and PHP. And we have the file upload progress bar meter tutorial with Ajax and PHP already existing at the site. And I'm going to link you guys to that. That way you can go ahead and integrate this kind of functionality into that sort of script. And I'll give you some tips for doing so. So you can fire up your favorite code editor and the code editor is unimportant because we're not using any special features that any specific code editor offers. So you can even be a notepad, it wouldn't matter. And I'm also going to offer you the code, and that'll be linked in the description of the video. That way you can get to the code that we use in this video. You can also watch the previous video, because that's pretty important to watch the previous video, because you'll get more insight into the drag and drop functionality. And I'm also going to link you to the file upload progress bar meter tutorial with Ajax and PHP. And that way you have something to integrate this kind of functionality into. And we're going to start with this very basic code. You can see we have a little bit of styling for the drop zone. And then we have a function in JavaScript called drag drop. And we're referencing the event as an argument going into that function. Then down in the page we simply have the div that is the drop zone. Now we're using the drop event and the drag over event. And in the drag over event all we're doing is setting return false that way nothing at all occurs in the drag over event then in the drop event we're running that function drag drop and we're passing the event as an argument okay so the first line inside of the drag drop function is we're going to event dot prevent default we run the prevent default method on the event and this I'm putting in place just to prevent any weird default behavior that may arise in specific browsers because we want full control over what happens. Now in the very next line we're going to introduce you to the files property of the data transfer object. And we discussed the data transfer object more in the first tutorial but we didn't show the files property. Now what the files property does it gives you a list of all the files that are associated in the drag and drop operation. So what we're going to do is alert the event dot data transfer dot files and we're accessing the first file in the list and normally it would just be one file that you're allowing users to upload when they drop it into the drop zone if you want me to show you what I'm talking about at Facebook when you drag a file from your computer and it can be a video file an audio file upload form that you have or just image files whatever what we're building here will allow dragging of videos, audio, images, and any type of file really. So I'll drag this image and you see how Facebook, it changes the little post area to a drop zone. And actually while I have this open I want to show you the URL to my new page. This is the new page that I'll be using at Facebook to keep people updated on Facebook about the new tutorials that we've produced and this is a a public figure page for teacher and the URL is facebook.com forward slash Adam dot Corey dot teacher so that's how you can find me on Facebook on the new page where I'll be posting all of my tutorials now once the user drops the file into the drop zone you have access to the file using event dot data transfer dot files and we're accessing the first index in the files list. Basically this is the file object. So on the next line what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to access the name of the file. So we'll just alert or you can console.log the event.datatransferfiles.name property. 
and that will give you the name of the file. And in this case, we have my file is father and son .jpg. So it'll alert father and son .jpg. Then in the very next line, we're showing you how to access the size, the amount of bytes that that file is. And then I'm simply going to write a note here for you. And this is where to begin uploading the file with Ajax and upload progress bar to PHP script. And here's a link for the tutorial. But don't worry, I'm going to put that link in the description of this video. And it's also going to be at the page on developphp.com where all of this code example resides. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a test in my browser and see what happens. Let me get that image. So here is my computer. And here would be my simulated web page online. I grab the image and just drag it into the drop zone. So the first alert shows us that we have access to an object that is the file to be uploaded. Then the next alert was the file.name, which was father and son.jpg. And then the next alert is how many bytes the file is. So you have access to the name, the bytes, and other information before the file even uploads. Now all I have to do is lead you to this file upload progress bar meter tutorial with Ajax and PHP. And then you'll be on your way to integrating this drag and drop file upload functionality into your existing file upload forms. And if you don't happen to know how to upload a file with Ajax yet, you can learn it with this tutorial that I'm about to show you right now. So if I go to developphp.com, and you can just type in here, file upload into the search bar, and it will come up. It's the third one, the file upload progress bar meter tutorial, Ajax PHP. If you click that, you'll see that in the JavaScript videos under Ajax programming, that's where that tutorial lives. And in this tutorial, we showed how to build a file upload progress bar feature. And we're using Ajax to send the file data to PHP script and read the file's upload progress as it's uploading. So if you're uploading or if you're allowing your users to upload very large video files or audio files, this is a perfect mechanism for that. And even when people are uploading images nowadays, a lot of the more elite websites will give a progress bar to the user that's uploading those images. So here in this tutorial, you can go ahead and watch the video, take the code, and here's all the JavaScript for handling the file upload via Ajax and PHP. And here's the PHP script that actually uploads the file to your server and puts it in whatever folder you want. Now I already tested this drag and drop functionality. I integrated it into this tutorial's code. So what I did was I went under the abort handler function and I just put one more function in that was the drag drop function. And in that function, I just set another Ajax request to upload the file. I was just doing it as a test, but it would make more sense to use the same upload file function. And then you can pass the file or the event to the upload file function. And you would just have to change this upload file function a little bit if you want to pass the event into this function directly as an argument. And then you can evaluate if the event data transfer object is available. And you can make some if conditions within that function. But I'll leave that up to you. That could be your homework. But I already tested it on my own live web server. And it took the file that I dragged into the drop zone and it just uploaded it and it had the progress bar and everything. It was beautiful. So I hope that gives you some insight on how you can start allowing your users to just drag files from their computer and any folders directly onto an area of your web page and your web page will just suck it up and upload it to the server automatically. So I just want to reiterate one more time the event that data transfer files property and you access the first file within that list by putting a zero between square brackets here. And that gives you access to the file in question. And then you can do anything that you've ever done with it before using JavaScript because that is a file object. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this exercise and we'll see you in the next video.